Thank you for joining us today. To, this session is going to cover managing distribution groups and group naming policies in the Exchange Control Panel. In order to get there, log into your administration portal and click Manage under Exchange and select the Distribution Groups tab in the User and Groups section. You have two different ways to create distribution groups. I uh, will only cover one today, and that is through the portal. The second way is through PowerShell, and technically a third would be through directory synchronization, but we will cover those in different videos. You can create new distribution groups. Give them a description. Oh, the owner is by default the administrator that created this. You can add other users. You can modify membership. And you can set membership approval permissions through the portal. Uh, both for joining and leaving the group. Select Save, and then you have access to the distribution group. Now, if you want to allow your users to create their own distribution groups, uh, public distribution groups to be specific, that other people can use, you may want to uh, create a naming convention to identify the different groups as being user created and for uh, different purposes such as location. So you go down here, select edit, and you can set prefixes, you can add suffixes, and you can also block words that that uh, you do not want to be added in its distribution groups or as more specifically the display name of the distribution groups. You can create, you can set the attribute based on an, uh, any of the common attributes and extended custom attributes and custom attributes that are synced over from on-premise and can also be managed through PowerShell. Let's say we will set this as city and we will have an, an a suffix of dash DL. You can also basically make it so that it's just a straight text add to the end of the DL's display name. Uh, in this case, we're not going to mess with blocked words, but you get the idea of what that's for. Now, one thing that uh, tripped me up for a bit it was that when I created a new distribution group, with the administrator that I'd set that with, I did not see this take effect. Now, if you go to manage myself, groups, public groups I own, Also, did not now what I found out is that this uh, it may be the fact that this is an admin or it may be that it's just not uh, or it may be that it's just this user that set it so what you do to fix this is by first logging out
and then logging in as another user, as an actual user. Now, what you can do at this point is go to Options, see all options, go to Groups, so public groups I own, since it was indicated as a indicated earlier, you can now do Create a Public Group. Set your membership. And you will get a message saying that the policy has been applied to it. In accordance with the group name and policy for your org, this group has been created with the following display name. And since I didn't set a city in it because it's not being synced over from uh, from AD it is only going to add the append. Uh, at this point I can go through and manage the different parts of the distribution group. Ownership, membership, membership approval were already there but delivery management you can restrict who can send to this whether it's internal or external you can force approval for messages to be sent to this DL. You can set right, groups that can uh, basically restrict sending to people that have only uh, that are only members of this group. And uh, more specifically, these are the aliases of the group. And then you can create cell types.